Coming up on Mountain News this morning, tourism hit an all time high last year, which is something officials hope Kentucky can continue to do. And school systems prepared for the upcoming school year all summer, but some took care of their staff before it begins. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Kalfi. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on August 9th. Now let's check in with Chief Forecaster Brandon Robinson for a look at your back to school forecast this That's morning. That's right. I know a lot of kids probably aren't awake yet, but yep. a lot of people are but, starting. But I'd say our viewership is going up <laughs> because a lot of parents are up now yes. getting ready to get their kids ready for school. Right and early. Exactly. So again, we're looking at uh, some fog out there this morning. That's going to be our main issue to start this back to school day. Not everybody going back to school today, but a lot of districts in session again today. But you're seeing zero visibility down toward Harlan, Jonesville, Jacksboro this morning and down toward Williamsburg and Middlesboro. And here in Hazard, we are fogged over. Well, if we can get the camera to show up there for a second but again Buffalo Mountain you can kind of see it down in the valley there at Hazard you see it over at Jenkins just a little bit not too bad at London Corbett Airport Pikeville or Moorhead I think I do see a little bit over there Pikeville though trying to build in this morning the WIMT studio there it is look at the fog out there near zero visibility here in Hazard this morning temperatures cooler we knew they would be 57 in Clintwood 60s everywhere else what looks like 67 there the warm spot out there toward Monticello a lot of low to mid 60s out there 66 in Prestonsburg as well. Out the door forecast sunshine this morning after the fog goes away, but those clouds will increase a little bit later on. But it's going to be a fairly nice day overall. 84 a daytime high tonight. Not so nice. We'll talk more about that coming up here in a little bit. Olivia. All right. Thank you, Brandon. The Housing Development Alliance hosted a housing can't wait home dedication in Breathitt County. This home is one of more than a dozen homes HDA is helping build for flood survivors in the region. HDA Executive Director Scott McReynolds says this would not be possible without everyone that has donated or volunteered. And it's just amazing all the folks who have uh, given what they can. I mean, we, we've gotten small donations. We've gotten pretty big donations. People have come out for a few hours. People come out for a week. Um, everybody just doing what they can uh, and putting all the resources together. And, and, and in the end, we're able to help people. McReynolds says they will continue helping those without homes. He says as more funding comes in from state and federal agencies, it will alleviate the cost of building materials. Team Kentucky gathered at the Mountain Arts Center yesterday, announcing the new company chosen to work on the last section of a project they say is well overdue. WYMT's Buddy Forbes has more about the plans. Today is a home run for Eastern Kentucky. As of today, every part of the Mountain Parkway, the four laning project is either complete, under construction or under contract. The final stage of a decades old project is paving the way to progress. It will deliver hope to our people here in the region. Governor Andy Bashir announced the contractor selected to complete the final piece of the Mountain Parkway expansion. A BizAC construction uh, is located in Eastern Kentucky, employs Eastern Kentuckians, pays taxes in these regions. Putting local boots on the ground to complete a project that broke ground 60 years ago. Before they ever put a shovel in the ground, that's helping our economy. And that's what it's about. Local people doing a local job with their pride. Officials say the decision to make a new 13-mile four-lane road will provide a safer interstate-like travel. For business and so much opportunity, this is a game changer. This is an artery into eastern Kentucky that we can then build off of for generations to come. Connecting Prestonsburg to Salyersville without cutting off those who rely on the current road every day. So that cross-country route is going to be less intrusive to the, the folks at, on 114, and it's also going to um, uh, uh, give us the ability to maintain our tax base. Carrying through with a promise made more than half a century ago. A lifelong dream of the people of the mountains to see this highway built and to now see it four-laned. I think the governor from the mountains would be smiling down upon us today. In Floyd County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. The exact timeline for the project has yet to be released, but representatives with Bizac Construction say it will be completed pretty quickly. 
Governor Andy Bashir was also in Lexington yesterday touting recent success for Kentucky tourism. State officials say last year was the best year in the state's history for tourism, economic impact and employment. About 75 million travelers visited the state in 2022, bringing in nearly $9 billion into the state's economy. Officials say 2023 is shaping up to be a great year as well. 60% of travelers who visited Kentucky in 2020 reported that they felt that Kentucky was a safe travel destination. Fayette County broke the $1 billion mark in total revenue earned due to the spike in tourism. As many schools across the region are preparing to head back to class, Hazard Independent Schools hosted its staff fun day before the busy school year begins. And Superintendent Sandra Combs says she wants the staff to know how much they are appreciated. And Hazard High School Vice Principal Luke Glazer say, says it is a day of fun and the staff deserves it after all the prep work they have done recently. Something like this is just a chance to take a deep breath and, and um, recommit to the work that we've chosen to do uh, with the people we've chosen to do it with. And I think that's it, it's important to take that time with each other to, uh, to uh, commit to the, the, the work we're doing. Students at Hazard Independent Schools will start back on August 16th. The complete list of start dates across the region is on our website. Last month, we talked to the family of a three-year-old boy out of Clay County who was in the USA mullet competition. And now that three-year-old is one step away from winning $5,000. Tristan Bowling is in the final 25 of vote getters across the nation. The final round is based off of whoever receives the most votes and raises the most money towards the Wounded Warriors Foundation. Tristan's mother, Kendra Smith, says they couldn't have made it this far without the help from their community. It feels really good to have so many people supporting us during this competition. The final round started Monday and voting continues until Friday at 11.59 p.m. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, President Biden designated an area around the Grand Canyon as a national monument yesterday in an effort to preserve sacred Native American land. I think my mullet days are gone there. From your trip to and from the bus stop today should be dry if you're going back, but the rain does not stay away all day. I'll track it out for you in about three minutes.